Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. I'm very excited today because we are heading into season 8 of the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode on our channel. So here we go into a new season, a new season, new opportunities as I like to say all the time. But we're going to start with the car reveal. Let's show you guys the new car for season 8. went for a little less common color on the F1 grid with a light lime green color on the car. Uh, also, we also need to show you guys our new uh, friend, our new teammate for this season. Of course, we said goodbye to Tatiana and brought in Carlos Sainz to pair up with us in the car. And I think Carlos Sainz has shown some good progress in the McLaren. So I think he'll be a good teammate for us. Uh, other. In other news, um, there has been some changes on the grid. So we still have Verstappen and Bot Bottas uh, paired up at Mercedes. We have Hamilton and Gasly paired up at Renault. Uh, Albon still at AlphaTauri. We also had a renaming of our team. We call it the Sioux Elite Racing now. We are now uh, a little more elite than we were in the past. So we rebranded to that. Um, Pierre Gasly still at Renault with Hamilton, as I said. Leclerc and Alcon are still paired. And if you take a look here, George Russell has moved to Red Bull, not Mercedes, Red Bull. Uh, and is paired with Lance Stroll, who's also at Red Bull. After uh, Daniel Ricciardo's retirement last season, he is now replaced by Lance Stroll. And then I think Kvyat was replaced by George Russell. And then Daniel Kvyat goes to McLaren instead to be paired up with Lando Norris, who stays there as well. The Haas drivers of Magnussen and uh, Matsushita still remain, with Antonio Giovinazzi moving to Racing Point as well. Some switching going on around here. Mick Schumacher still at AlphaTauri with um, Albon. And then we have Latif and DeVries still around. Jack Aiken and Luca Giotto makes his return to Formula 1 after having a short stint with Renault. So that is quite a lineup. Tatiana Calderon is still a free agent and Guan Yu Zhou, a F2 driver in the current season. A uh, Chinese F2 driver makes it into Racing Point's lineup to pair up with Antonio Giovinazzi. It's going to be an interesting season regardless, uh, but Tatiana's out. No one wants her just yet. Hopefully she will find a seat in the near future. So, new car, new teammates, new teams. We're gonna progress with time and head into the Australian Grand Prix, the first uh, season opener of the season. We're heading into Australia. I'm gonna do a practice programs and I'll see you guys afterwards for qualifying. Welcome to qualifying at the Australian Grand Prix and the first qualifying session of Season 8. Now, I am a little worried because uh, usually the history of our performances is that we always do poorly in, at the beginning of the season and then all of a sudden we get better towards the end. So I really want to do well here. Um, so we are going to jump into our car. Let's set an early lap because I think we may need to do more than uh, one lap or so. Uh, we will see how quick we are on this circuit in our first lap. Let's see where our benchmarker lap puts us. Oh, a little slow on the entry of the start finish straight, but we are P5 behind Schumacher. Alright, so the results of the first qualifying session is that we do make it through. We are 117.1. Carlos Sainz with a 116.9 just ahead of us. George Russell with the fastest lap in a Red Bull with 116.3. So that is quite exciting. Knocked out our Matsushita, Magnussen, Giotto, Aiken, uh, and Schumacher, and Latifi. So the Williams and Nick DeVries makes it through. We will head on into Q2 and see where we place.
All right, first lap of Q2, 115, 116, P2. All right, that's a strong lap. Let's see if we can uh, place a little stronger, a couple more stronger laps. Let's see. In fact, I didn't even need to. That one lap was good enough. A 116.399 sees us at P4, so heading on into Q3. This is a good start. We haven't had Q3 appearances early on in the season in the previous couple seasons, so it's good to see myself head on into the final round of qualifying with Carlos Sainz. Knocked out are, of course, these following cars. Albon, De Vries, Guan Yu Zhou, Leclerc, Hamilton, and Ocon. Two Ferraris missing out and a racing point so let's head on into the final round of qualifying to see where we place for the race for real all right let's see where we cross the line 116 point Oof. front row at the moment right behind Walter Bottas let's see if we can improve on it Ooh, great improvement. Three tenths, maybe even four tenths improvement. That is still P5. All right, all right. I, I don't know what's happening, but that is it for qualifying, I think. I think it's like a P5 starting position for us. Maybe even further back. We'll see. So we do sit P6. Uh, Carlos Sainz is closer to the front in the second row, P3. So uh, it's not too far away from the podium position. So let's see if we can make the most of it. P6 starting position. Let's see how far up the grid we can go on race day. No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal. And it's make or break here at Albert Park, home of the Australian Grand Prix since 1996 and home to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We go racing today then in the state of Victoria where the drivers have 16 corners and 3.3 miles to navigate at an average lap speed of around 120 miles an hour. The close proximity of the barriers makes accidents inevitable and recent history shows us that a safety car is not at all out of the question. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. and They've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Daniel Kvyat will start today from pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Norris, Bottas, the captain, and Gasly, Russell, Verstappen, Giovinazzi, and Esteban Ocon, Stroll, Hamilton, Charles Leclerc, and Joe, De Vries, Albon, Nicholas Latifi, and Mick Schumacher, Aitken, Giotto, Magnussen and Nobuharu Matsushita. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do, don't let me down. We got bumped up one position here. We're up to P5 now after I think a long stroll or someone took a grid penalty. Uh, don't know what that was all about, but here we go. First race of season eight, Australian Grand Prix, and we are starting P5. Uh, it's quite a rare sight to see. Uh, let's take a look at our strategy, of course, because strategies win races, as we always say on this channel. Um, it seems like the soft to medium strategy doesn't work. The hard, uh, soft, soft hard strategy, on the other hand, looks like it's a optimal one. So. We are going to choose that strategy, soft to hard. It is approximately five seconds faster. Uh, we will drop our fuel loads to approximately 27 laps, maybe. We're really good on fuel efficiency, so let's just drop it down to 51 kg. We'll be all right. Let's start the race. Whew, this is exciting, absolutely exciting. We are in with the season opener, season eight, five red lights in Australia, and away we go. Immediately, great start off the get-go. 
weaving through this field like hot knife through butter. Ooh, that's a huge amount of contact. Waltas has slipped through, but that's alright. We can do a dive bomb up the inside. Oh, Signs is away. Signs is away and we're right behind him in P2. What is going on, Sue? This is insane driving from us. Drop it down to standard. I want to save a little bit of fuel. Let's punch it, though. Ooh, signs ahead. Kivy up behind us, but it's looking like a Sioux Elite racing. P1 and P2 at the moment. It's looking very good. Tasty, ladies and gentlemen. Tasty. Absolutely tasty. Screw the ball alerts, as we always do. Oof, alright. Ooh, Kivya going around the outside, but we defend well around here. There we go. We're doing well. Let's keep pushing here. Whoa, why is there collision? Oh, safety car. Safety car is out. Okay. Why is the safety car out? What happened? I got hit by Botas. Did that cause a safety car? I'm not sure. Possibly. Uh, pit stop information. Okay, you only have to stop once now. One stop left. Pit window opens in five laps time. Five laps. Ooh, do we keep going or do we risk it and move on to the hards? I don't know. Safety car right now. Huh. What tires do I have? I have new hards, new mediums, new softs. Hmm. Can I survive 24 laps on hard tires? I don't know. Highly doubt it, so I think we gotta go a couple more laps. Where's pretty bad right now? Ooh, Nick DeVries is out of the session as well now. So we're now 21 cars running. There must be terminal damage to the Williams. I don't know, I don't think we'll go in just yet because it's like lap 11 that we're moving in, so... Ay ay ay. Pit stop information? We'll be doing one more stop today. One stop left in our strategy. You have four laps till your pit window opens. If the safety car doesn't come in this lap, I think I might pull the trigger early and move into the pit lane. Get a pit stop done. I think we can risk coming in at, lap, at the end of lap 7, start of lap 8, if the safety car doesn't come in. If the safety car does uh, say it's coming in at the end of this lap, then we gotta say goodbye to that strategy and stick with our original one. Also, we're stepping on a 5 second time penalty is tasty. That's good. It's always good to have a Mercedes on a on a time penalty. Helps us out a little. Oh, nearly crashed into signs. Safety car is coming in. Alright, so we gotta bin our strategy adjustment. We're going for the original strategy of coming in at a lap 11. The ultimate strat 
team strategy would be for me to slow the heck down, put a huge gap between me and signs, and then restart the race. There we go. Gave signs a little breathing room. There we go. I think that's the team game played. Nice. Oh, VSC deployed. That's a gift. Well, that's a huge gift. How are we getting so lucky here? We're heading into the pit lane now for our first tire change to the hard compound tire. Um, yep, hards are selected. 101 degrees on the front left, which is fine. We're looking good. We're looking good for a podium here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at that fire costume or uniform for our pit crew. 3.1 second is all right. All right, we are now down to P20. For Stappen is serving his. Whoa, why? No, we're not. Green flag running. So let's really push here. All right, Magnuson is pitting now. Let's see. Leclerc's also in the pits. He's on his exit, so we just overtook him. It's looking more and more like a P1 finish. It's looking tasty. Let's see if we can stay clinical with our driving. Driver in front. Matsushita is ahead of you. Gap to car in front is 1.7 seconds. There are old softs. Their tires are eight laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1 minute 23.2. You're gaining by 1.6 seconds a lap. Okay, 1.6 seconds a lap. That is quite quick. But we do have Leclerc behind us who is going to try and really put the aggression on us. Just as expected, Matsushita dips in. We are going rich. Leclerc is our next competitor. Norris ahead. Ooh, this is slowly becoming a tense race. Driver in front. Driver in front. Norris is ahead of you. Okay, gap ahead is 11.6 seconds. They're on old softs. Their tires are nine laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1.20. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're dropping back by around 1.4 seconds. So Norris is quite pacey around here. Speaking of which, Leclerc is also quite pacey around here. He is right behind me trying to overtake. And we keep it. Nice. Good defense. Keep pushing your suit. Come on. Come on. Stroll and Norris ahead. Ooh. Stroll and Norris are in the pits. So we gained the lead of the Grand Prix. Not a boy. Let's go, boys. That was a great strategy. Our strategy has paid off dividends. Here we go. Lap 21. Yeah. Guan Yuzhou right behind us. Schumacher right behind him. So I do hope Schumacher really pushes for that position. Then we would be in some breathing space. Just waiting for Carlos Sainz to peep into the top five positions.
Lando Norris is in P5, Russell in P4. Let's see what happens. Uh oh, within one second behind us is Guan Yu Zhou, lap 22. Battle's gonna get intense in a moment. Come on, Schumacher, really push that off Atari. Help us out a bit. Uh oh, there's a yellow flag. What happened? Uh oh, that was a poor. Lewis Hamilton is out. Ooh. Oh no. No safety car. No VSC. But more pressure from Guan Yu Zhou. That's what we're dealing with here. How long is Hamilton going to be stuck there for? I don't know. We're stepping with the fastest lap with a 118.7. Yeah, where's Hamilton at? Oh, he's right there. There's a bit of a tussle going on. Russell with a dive bomb on both cars to get P2. Guan Yu Zhou is under threat from Schumacher and Norris. Oh, Norris overtakes Schumacher. Oh, he's getting feisty behind us. I think Russell's trying the inside line move, but no, we defend it. The AI has intense speed around here. I think Australia is like a difficult track for the player. We have five laps of fuel remaining. I think the AI is boosted on Australia. Whoa, 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 Russell, bait. I'm running here. Whoa, I'm getting bumped left, right, and center. But we keep P1. Any wing damage? No, no wing damage from that fiasco, thankfully. Here we go, penultimate lap. Lando Norris really pushing on us. Gonna try and defend the middle, go on the outside. Defensive maneuvers against Orlando Norris as we try to protect P1 for the remainder of this Grand Prix. Penultimate lap around the outside goes Orlando Norris. But we have the inside line to protect here. Here we go now. Last lap of the Grand Prix. Norris is right behind us, but we got a good uh, delta going between myself and Norris. Russell is also helping us out by trying to fight for P2. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, Schumacher is now pressing on. Uh, on uh, Russell. Albon's in the mix too. Oh, it's very tight behind us. Really gotta run away. Three second gap to everyone else. Norris has made it into P2. Or Norris remains in P2. I think we've done it. Wow. I think it's the first time we win in Australia. I don't think I've ever won an Australian Grand Prix, but today we finally crossed the line victorious in P1. What a race and what a start to the season. Great job, you've done everything we wanted today.
We've witnessed some great battles on the streets of Melbourne today and they've taken a fantastic win. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, they certainly stood out as a drive with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. There we go, P1, what a brilliant start to the season, couldn't have asked for a better one, P1 today, that is amazing, a lot of good points to really bring the foundation of our season campaign to a decent position, so here we are, P1, I wonder where Sainz finished, brilliant positioning here, P1 for us, and Lando Norris right behind, and Mick Schumacher in third. Starting at P18 and then bumps up all the way to P3. That is quite a feat. Albon afterwards. Russell, Sainz, Bottas, Ocon, Latifi, and Gasly rounding out the rest of the grid. Carlos Sainz getting 8 points, which is decent, but I don't know what happened in the pit lane. He must have had a poor pit stop for that to happen. He was ahead of us for a quite uh, some by quite some margin, but he drops down to P6. Danny Kvyat, Stroll, Leclerc, Aiken, Verstappen, Joe, Giovinazzi, Matsushita, Magnussen, Giotto round out the finishing drivers with Hamilton and De Vries not finishing the race. That is quite an interesting roundup. I mean, the standings aren't going to be too different from the end of the Australian Grand Prix because it is the first Grand Prix of the season. So we do lead in the driver standings for now and we also lead in the constructor standings. Alvatari getting P2 at the moment. That is quite interesting. Mercedes, Ferrari, and Red Bull slowly dropping down to the mid tables. Williams getting some solid points today to see themselves in seventh. But again, it is early on in the season. So let's see what happens over the course of the next couple Grand Prix. Regarding pit stops, Carlos Sainz did have a front wing repair. That's why he took so long in the pit lane. 9.2 seconds for that change. Uh, we had a 3.125. So that is quite an impressive pit stop from us. Uh, otherwise there were a lot of front wing damage uh, issues around uh, the field but yeah it is what it is brilliant start to the Grand Prix with a new name for the team Sue Elite Racing as well as a new livery that isn't really common in the on the F1 grid went for a little lime green uh, highlighter green color neon green color would you say uh, with a little black in the rear um, it was chaos at lap one turn one was absolute mayhem but we did manage to survive it uh, that was a safety car moment on lap five which I'm not quite sure uh, what triggered the safety car but we played that game to perfection as we really dipped in early for the hard compound tires in lap 10 so we didn't do it during the safety car but immediately afterwards and that served to be a fantastic uh, strategy option a lot of clashing with other cars around a lot of AI drivers were taking risks um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, next up is the Bahrain Grand Prix. We are following the calendar a little and uh, it's going to be an exciting season. P1 finish, so we have some solid points in the bank. We'll see how Carlos Sainz fares in the next couple Grand Prix. He should be good in the car that we provide him. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe using the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified when the next video goes live on my channel. F1 2020 season 8, maybe the last season before F1 2021 drops but we will see we'll keep pushing hard with this 16 season or uh, 16 race season hope you guys are doing well and as always take care of yourselves and i'll see you guys in the next video mine take care